Inferno painting is a completely different species. Completely different. Uh, it's, it has such a, a soul and such a history to it. So I'm a great believer in working a lot with communities to make sure that what they get is something which is going to be a living creature that they can use for a long, long time and encourage younger members of the community and new members of their communities to participate and um, understand what the history and heritage is. And I think all of that is imbued into being an artist creating banners. It's not just about applying paint. It's something totally different. I think it comes with a massive honor and I think it comes with a massive level of pride and respect for the communities that you work with. Gala is, uh, it, you know, it is a trade union event, but it's also a family day. It's a family day for people to come and, and remind each other about the strength of collectivism, about the strength of unity, about what we can achieve when we are standing together as one unit. You know, you come down and you walk on the streets, 250,000 people all feeling empowered. I mean, that, that has its own special music to it. Even without the brass bands, you get a sense of that feeling. I've been going on demos since I was six, you know, and nothing has the spirit of Minus Gala. As much as when you walk together, Minus Gala is about, it's not about one item, you know, it's not about, okay, today we're going to, uh, you know, stand against universal credit, today we're going, you know, it is about every single thing that we have fought for for generations, that it, it's all living in that as people parade down, as they play the brass music, as we walk with the banners. It's, it's, it's so difficult to describe. Anytime you try to describe Minus Gala to somebody, they just, they can't feel it. And you have to feel Minus Gala to know it. <laughs>